three boxes. So we do the reset button for those of you who still didn't do it. Reset. Perfect. We go to box number one. So I'm going to use a box. Oh, I used this, a rectangle before. My bad. Box. Let's make it using the keyboard entry. We're going to go type in 52, 61, and 32. Create. There's the first box. I'm going to go change the name right here. Call it red box. Then I'm going to go change the color here. Hopefully it changes right away to red. There we go. There's the first box. Now I'm going to create another box. Okay, let's do the same one, keyboard entry. It's going to be uh, 35, 40, 12. Create. There's my box. I'm going to change the cut name now to green box. Change the color to green. Now I make another box, create. Again, the lengths are going to be uh, 50, 40, and 30. And we're going to call this one the blue box. And we're going to change the color to blue. So now we have three beautiful boxes. So we're just going to move them around. Hopefully they don't fly around like they did before. Move the command. There's one. Let's go this guy. See, now it's not flying away from me. Let's go to the blue box. And now we have our three boxes. One, two, three. Blue, green, oh, and red. Is everybody okay so far? So now we're going to do what? Now we're going to change the display options. So we go here, right click, and we should be able to see the display properties. Where are my display properties? Up here. I'm just going to change this one to see so we can see through it. So we're going to use the see through option. Display. Uh, where's the see? Right here. Properties. And we're going to go put here see through. Thank you. Go to this one here. Oh, that's because we already separated them. But anyways, we're going to put them. Just to show you, you could do this. I already moved them before. See through, go this one here, options, properties, see through as well. So you can see through the objects so we can see how many we actually have and where we need to go. Now we're going to use the align tool. So how do we do the align tool, guys? We click on the big box first or this one that goes on top? So which is going to be, which one goes the second one? So green box. We go now use tools. Align, right? Or Alt A. Now what? We choose where we want to go to. So we choose the big box. Click. And now we do like we did on the last assignment where we do top, center, minimum, or wherever you need to go. We're going to go choose which one now, guys? X and Y, which brings it to the middle. Now if we go to max, it brings it to the bottom. If we go to min, it brings it to the middle, but this one's still in the center, so we have to go middle max. And that's going to bring us directly in the top of the piece. So now we press apply, OK. Now we do the same thing to the next box. Is that right? This is wrong. Oh, it's not even on top of each other. So maybe let's not make these uh, transparent. And let's go back to see the actual colors. OK, we have the three colors we wanted. So the blue should go first. You guys told me the wrong colors. So now we go tools, align. We're going to select this one first. Oh, sorry, the blue first, my bad. Tools, align. Now we're going to select the red box. Now we're going to go do X and Y. It's Z, guys. For me, it's X, Y, and Z, I think. Let's see. Center, center, maximum. What's wrong here? So I adjusted the height. I did the wrong height before. It should have been 30. The green box should be 35, 40, 12. The red box should be 52, 61, 32. And the blue box, I made a mistake before, should have been the length is 50. That's why it's messing up now. My width is 40, 
and my height is 30. So thank you again. Now we're going to do the align. So we're going to use the quick align first. So we click on the object, tools, quick align, align, quick align, shift A. Click the object and it's going to bring it in the middle. This is why before we said to do object properties and we make it see through. So we could actually see the box that's in the middle. From there now that we see the middle, we're going to go choose the blue box again, tools, and we're going to use align now. From there, we're going to click on the red box, which is right over here. And now we have it set in the center using the quick. Now we're going to place it. So now we're going to go use the Z, which brings it all the way to the top. And before you had it center, center. Now we do minimal and maximum. So now we see that it brings it. If I do the opposite, it's going to bring it below the object. If I do the opposite again, it brings it to the top. So that's one of them. We press apply. We press OK. Is that clear so far? Now we do the same thing again for the green box. We go to click on the green, go tools, align, quick align to the red box, to the blue box. It would have been the same thing. It would have been the same thing because it would have been the center. Then we clicked over there, it's in the middle. Now we do the same one where we click the green box again, tools, align, click the blue box, and now we're going to do Z again. It's already there. Minimum and maximum is exactly where it's supposed to be. Press a lot, apply, OK, and we use the align tool on our piece. Then I can go back here, object settings, put it back to color, and now we see we have the three boxes. Is that clear? Even if we would have chose this one here as the center, then we would have chose this one as the main one, it would have did the same thing, we would have just shot it up right away.